Hi, I'm Nick, and today we're going to show you how to resolve iOS WooCag keyboard trap violations. WooCag 2.1.2 titled Keyboard Traps states that if keyboard focus can be moved into a component of the page using the keyboard interface, then focus can be moved away from that component using just the keyboard interface. The intent of this success criterion is to make sure that the user is not trapped within a particular subset of the page and is instead able to access all of the page's content. People who are blind or people with physical disabilities may be interacting with your application via a keyboard or assistive technology that emulates keyboard input. We can fulfill this success criterion by making sure that users cannot be trapped only within a particular subsection of your application's page when using one of these keyboard technologies or keyboard emulating technologies. For more details on the specifics of WooCag keyboard trap violations, check out this link here. Link also in the description down below. Let's go ahead and fix a keyboard trap violation with the help of the Mesmer JetBrains IDE plugin. But first, pound it, high five, finger guns, and please like and subscribe. Here we have a keyboard trap violation raised by the Mesmer JetBrains IDE plugin. Clicking into the object allows us to see the screen containing this violation, and additionally we can click on the VC class to automatically pull up the controller that uh, contains this violation. Now that we know what screen contains this violation, we can try navigating this page on my physical device and see if we're able to access all of this page's content. No keyboard trap. Dummy. Button. Focus 2. Button. Focus 1. Button. Focus 1. Button. Focus 1. Button. As we can see, the user is trapped and is unable to visit subsequent portions of this page, thus causing a keyboard trap violation. Let's see if we can resolve this violation from within the view controller. We can resolve this violation by redefining the order of the objects and the accessibility elements of this view controller. Once I've redefined the order of these elements, we can make sure that we don't have a repeated element at the end such that we're able to access the final user interface components of this screen. Let me reorder these elements and then we'll rebuild the application to see if we can notice a difference. Now, from the mobile application, we can try navigating this page using voiceovers, navigational features, and a keyboard interface. No keyboard trap. Focus 1. B focus 2. But Open menu. But Dummy. Button. Skip step. Button. Tab bar. Selected. H crawl. Tab. T settings. Tab. 3 of 3. Awesome. So now we can see we're able to navigate every portion of this page content, thus resolving this keyboard trap violation. And just like that, we resolved our iOS keyboard trap accessibility violation. What kind of videos on accessibility would you like to see? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and happy developing.